guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Closet Nerd. You guys can probably tell from the title in the video, but I'm going to be doing a massive closet clean out today. This is a closet clean out that I have needed to do for a really long time now. I've just been putting it off and putting it off. And every time that I go and do it, I find that I just want to keep everything in my closet. So if you guys are someone who experiences that whenever you try and do some spring cleaning or fall cleaning or when you're switching over your wardrobe, you're just like, I like everything. I'm just going to keep everything. Then this video is going to be for you. In this video, I'm also going to talk about the ethical and the sustainable ways that we can clean out our closet, meaning is donation actually the best thing that we could do? What are some things that we do with the socks, our underwear, some sports bras, everything that's kind of like worn out? What do we do with those? I'm going to be answering all of those questions for you guys in this video as well. Now, like I said before, I've tried to clean my closet out so many times before, and since I have a fashion background, I love clothes, I usually just end up keeping everything. So I've come up with a list of rules that I'm going to follow to help me clean out my closet. The first rule, I'm going to be following the Marie Kondo method, where you hold each piece to see if it actually brings you joy. Now, since I'm a clothes lover, pretty much everything in my closet brings me joy, so I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into that. For the past couple months, I've been really trying to stay in tune with my tuition, and I have a feeling that it's gonna guide me through what I should keep in my closet and what I shouldn't, but I also have a couple other rules that I'm gonna follow. The second rule that I'm gonna be following is kinda like a minimalistic style. I'm going to be taking all of my basics, looking at them, seeing if the quality is still good, and then I'm gonna be keeping those. So anything that is black, white, all my blue jeans, I'm gonna be keeping those. That will give me a really nice solid foundation of a wardrobe that I can expand from. You know, whenever I go thrifting, I can look for statement pieces or patterns and things like that to be added to my wardrobe and I won't have to worry about the basics. And then my third rule, I'm going to be taking all the sentimental pieces that I have in my wardrobe, like stuff I have from high school, from college, maybe it has my sorority on it, maybe it has my cheerleading team on it, things like that, I'm going to be keeping them in a separate pile because I really don't want them to be part of my wardrobe, but I don't want to be donating them or throwing them away or anything like that. I do want to be preserving them. So that is my third rule. Once I figured out what clothes I want to keep and what clothes I don't want to keep, I'm also going to be reorganizing my closet. It needs it desperately. It's literally a freaking mess in there. I have no system, no rhyme or reason for how I have my clothes hanging. It's literally just a huge mess and it kind of gives me anxiety every single time I open my closet door. So I'm going to be coming up with a system that I like and I enjoy and that I can stick with. All right, so let's just get to cleaning. This is the huge mass of clothes that I have on my bed. It's ginormous. It is <laughs> it's a little bit overwhelming, but I told myself if I got everything out, then I could kind of like sort through and I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm forgetting something like in the back corner. No, we're gonna have it everything here so I can realize how many clothes I have and how much I don't actually need this. So I still have most of my shoes in my closet. Um, I just have some random stuff in there. And then my cubbies, I'm gonna keep the stuff in my cubbies for now. Um, before I go through all the little stuff, I'm gonna go through all of the big stuff so I can kind of feel like I got a huge chunk done. 
before I go through all the middle school stuff and figure out what the heck I'm gonna do with everything. I still have my hats and some of my shoes up there as well. All right, so the number one rule again is going through all these clothes and figuring out if they actually bring me joy or not. So I'm gonna go through this huge amount of clothes and hold each one and figure out if it brings me joy or not. <laughs> Wish me luck. So about two hours later, I've sorted through um, 194 pieces of clothes, I've counted them, um, and I'm going to keep 73 of them. So that's a huge difference. I lost about 120 pieces of clothing, and I'll go ahead and show you guys all the piles that I have here. So what you see right here, here are the shirts that I'm going to save, here are the pants that I'm going to keep, and then over here we have all of my different piles. So over on this side we have all of my sentimental clothes that I'm going to keep just in a separate bin underneath my bed. So um, you guys can see I have some stuff from high school, uh, child memories, my college. And these pieces are actually pieces that I've made. Uh, they don't actually fit me since I made them for a fashion show, but I don't want to get rid of them so I'm just going to be keeping those. Now all these clothes right here, including the shoes on the side and then down towards the bottom, these are all going to be clothes that I'm going to be taking to Plato's Closet and then if they don't end up being sold there, I'm probably going to donate them to a homeless shelter. Uh, these are pretty good quality. I either got them a year ago, two years ago, nothing over three years. The functionality is still there. They haven't been worn a lot. Some of them even actually have tags still on them. So then this pile right here, these are actually clothes that I'm gonna put on my Poshmark. I'll make sure to link it down below in case you guys see anything that you like, including these shoes. But a lot of these clothes are actually ones that I got for working at Michael Kors, either I wore them maybe a max of 20 times or I've never actually worn them. Some of them actually have tags on them and this jacket is seriously amazing. So definitely check out my Poshmark. I'm gonna be putting these up probably this week for you guys to check out. Now these last two piles are actually gonna be clothes that I am going to drop off at a homeless shelter. These are either clothes that Functionality wise, it's just not quite there. Maybe they're stained. Um, I've either cut them into like cutoffs, uh, tailored them for my body, um, or they're just a little bit too worn to be sold to anyone. So these are gonna be donated to a homeless shelter. So you guys have probably noticed that I don't actually have a pile for donation to either Goodwill or Salvation Army in my local area. And the reason is, it's actually not that ethical or sustainable to do that. First of all, these businesses have to make money off of the products that you just give them. You could be selling these clothes and you could be making a profit from it, but instead you just drop it off and they make the profit. Second of all, only 10% of the clothes that you drop off at these places actually make it onto the floor. The other 90% is actually sold to a recycler. About 75% of them are actually recycled in the US. They're turned into rags for factories, uh, mechanical shops, things like that, used for dirty work. The other 25% is actually shipped over to Africa to be sold there. Now you guys might be like, oh my gosh, that's awesome, like they totally need the clothes. Well, first of all, shipping these clothes to Africa, it's not that great for the planet. And it's actually causing a really bad ripple effect. When these clothes get to the ports in Africa, they are valued at about 158 when they get in there. They're in these huge containers that are sealed with plastic. 
as soon as people buy a bundle of these bags, they can actually go to the street and sell them at an incredible profit. That 158 pair of jeans actually turns into $7.99 as soon as the guy opens the bag and starts selling them to people. Now, for me, that just doesn't seem ethical, that huge percentage of increase in profit. Second of all, like I said, it's having a really bad ripple effect. These factories and the fashion industry in Africa, they can't match the cheap price of these cheap American clothes, so they're actually having to close businesses, lay people off. So I just wanted to share with you guys that there are other options other than donation. Do whatever you can to keep your clothing in the US or at least in this continent. You repurposing them yourself, you finding a local recycler to hand your products to, or donating them to homeless shelters because a lot of times homeless shelters will take anything and everything. When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise, say all the words out of my mind. About who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe I can't get it right Remember the days I let slip away They were simpler times Mama told me before you leave if there's only Well, you guys can probably tell that it's the next day. This closet clean out is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would take, but I do have to give myself some grace. And if you guys are doing a closet clean out, just know that you're probably going to have a large selection of clothes that you are either trying to sell, trying to drop off at places. So just give yourself a little bit of grace, knowing that it's going to take you a little bit of time to actually clean your closet out of those clothes that are no longer serving you. So the clothes that I am potentially selling to Plato's Closet, I'm actually going to be getting rid of them right now. And I'm going to be showing you guys a couple little tips that I found to help you guys sell the clothes to these third party sellers. Now, things that I want to sell on Poshmark, I am going to be setting up a location in my other closet so I can hang them there. I have some really nice lighting. I'll take some pictures of them so that I can upload them right away to see if anybody wants to buy them. As far as the clothes that I'm going to be dropping off at the homeless shelter here in Albuquerque, I am also going to be getting rid of them right away, even if I'm just putting them in my chunk of my car. That way they're out of the house, I'm not going to be thinking about them, and they're not going to be cluttering my space anymore. That's really important to me. So today I'm going to be organizing my closet, getting rid of these clothes, and seeing if I can make an income. So here I have my pile of clothes that I'm going to take to Plato's Closet or a consignment shop that looks at clothes that you bring to them and then decides whether or not they are going to buy it off of you. Now, since I had a lot of clothes to go through, I just handpicked the clothes that are in season right now. So I'm looking for winter and fall clothes. That's probably what the stores are also gonna be looking for. So that's what I have in front of me right now. I just have fall and winter stuff. I have a whole bunch of summer stuff, but I'm gonna wait until summer to go ahead and bring those because I think I have a higher chance of selling them when they're in season. Now, with the clothes that I have in front of me, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a tip 
to help you make an income from these clothes. Now, when you drop off these clothes at Plato's Closet, um, I know Plato's Closet does this. They look for the date on the tag to see when it was made because I don't think they take anything that has been made over two years ago, even though they totally do. So here's a way that you can trick the system. So I'm gonna take this first t-shirt. I got it from Target, I think last year. So it should be still really high quality. You see that the wear isn't like really bad. The print is still there. It's not cracked or anything. And everything seems to be nice quality still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna find this tag right here this little side tag. Now sometimes these tags actually have dates on them, little codes that the workers can read to see how old the product is. Now since we don't want them to know how old it is, we're gonna go ahead and cut this off. You guys wanna be really careful that you're not actually cutting the seam because that will lessen the integrity of the clothes and we still want them to be high quality when we sell them. So now that I've taken the tag off, I can go ahead and put it in the bin to be dropped off. We'll actually see that it says quarter three, 2020 right there. So that is saying the date that this came out. It's saying when it was released in stores. So the workers at Plato's Closet look at these tags to see when it was released to see if it's new enough to put out on the floor. I have successfully decreased from 194 articles of clothing to 73. You guys can see it just creates a different space in this closet. I'm able to enter this closet now and know exactly where everything is, which is going to help me when I am creating outfits, when I'm figuring out what I want to wear, when I'm packing for trips. It's just going to simplify my life a lot. I changed up the cubbies a little bit. I decided that I wanted more shelving on top, so I decided to take one of my shoe shelves, set it up on top so I had a couple more surfaces that I could place things on. My clothes are all together. I was actually able to organize them by shirts, sweatshirts, and dresses. I organized them by color just because that's how my eyes like to look at things. And then I also decided that all of my pants I didn't want being hung anymore. They were actually taking up too much space and to put them on the hanger, it was just too much of a stressful job. So I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and fold my pants, my leggings, and my shorts and place them up on top, on top of some of the shelving. So that'll make it a little bit easier to find what I'm looking for and they won't be taking up so much space. Now behind me, I have everything that I was gonna take to Plato's Closet, but starting today, New Mexico is entering another shutdown, so actually the business isn't open anymore. I'll have to wait another two weeks before I can drop these off. But once the shops open back up, I'll be sure to drop this off at Plato's Closet to see how much they think my stuff is worth. Everything that Plato's Closet doesn't want from the pile behind me, I'm actually going to be adding to the pile that I'm going to donate to a local homeless shelter. That way I can really ensure that the clothes are going to stay in state and there's not a lot of carbon emission attached to that trip. It feels really good to finally have been able to clean my closet out and it almost feels like I'm starting on a new slate where I can actually go thrifting. I know exactly what's in my closet so I have an idea of what can be added to my wardrobe to add value to it. There are a couple different articles of clothing that I will continue to buy new and not buy used. Those are going to be my bras, my underwear, any of my active wear like leggings, shorts, sports bras, things like that I will be buying new just because the integrity of the clothes is a lot better when you buy it new and activewear tends to wear out after the first couple years you know it goes through the wash it really stretches out so that's why I'm gonna be buying new but I will be exploring more sustainable brands where I can get those articles of clothing which I am super excited about sharing with you guys Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, that would mean so much to me. My mission with my YouTube channel now is to help you guys live a more sustainable life and really make it easy for you. I know it can be a daunting task at first. You really don't know where to turn. That's the point of my channel. I'm gonna be here to guide you through it and make it really easy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.